Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to be translating math statements to word statements. In the previous video, we were doing the reverse. We were translating word statements into math statements. But before we get started, we need to get out. Charlie, he better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? <laughs> All right, let's get started right there. Translating math statements to word statements. So here we have 3 plus 8. This is an expression. How do we translate this expression into words? The first thing we do is define the operation. Now the formal word for addition is the sum. So we first define our operation, the sum. And what are the two things we're taking the sum of, Charlie? 3 and 8. Very nice, of 3 and 8. Now in this expression, negative 3 subtract 2. The operation is subtraction. The word for subtraction is difference. So we have the difference of what two things? Of negative 3 and a positive 2. So this expression translates into the word statement the difference of negative 3 and 2. Let's go to this next one, negative 3 plus a negative 8. Here we have a sum, and this is the sum of a negative 3 and a negative 8. Notice how the parentheses is being used. We need to define that we're adding a negative 8 by putting those parentheses around the negative 8. We'll talk more about that soon. Here we have an equation. Now the equal sign translates into a word statement as is. So is means equal. So here our operation is the sum. And we're taking the sum of negative 2 and a positive 8. And this sum of negative 2 and 8 is positive 6. So the sum of negative 2 and 8 is 6, is how you translate that equation into a word statement. Now here we have this equation, negative 3 subtract 2 equals negative 5. We first define our operation on the left hand side, which is the difference. And here we're taking the difference of negative 3 and a positive 2. And this difference of negative 3 and positive 2 is negative 5. And there is the word statement for that equation. Here we have x plus y equals 5. How do you translate that into a word statement? Well, it's the sum of x and y is 5. And that's it. Let's do another one. Here we have a subtract 2 equals negative 1. Well, this is the difference of a and positive 2 equals is negative 1. Notice we say the difference of a and 2. When we say 2, it implies that it's positive 2. If it were a negative 2, we would have said negative 2. Notice when we had the negative 1, we wrote down negative 1. So the difference of a and 2 is negative 1. That's the word statement for that equation there. Here we have the difference of three things. We have the difference of x, y, and z is 5. There's the word statement for that equation. So remember, it's good to practice going between math statements and word statements because this is a necessary skill that you're going to need when we get to word problems. And that's coming up soon. Anyway, we'll see you again soon.